Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be a very busy day. I have a long, long list here I can show you. I have this long list of groceries I have to fulfill. Like I have not gone grocery shopping for over uh, maybe about a month or a half now. So um, I've been pretty stocked up on a lot of my stuff since I've been shopping a lot less frequently and then cooking from home. But anyways, today we're gonna drop by at Fred Meyers slash Kroger. We're gonna go pick up some groceries. We're gonna fill up our cart. We have quite a bit of goodies to pick up. And so grocery shop with me and see what we can find. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, my name is Lily. I make videos weekly all about shopping, vlogging, doing my thing. But let's get started and let's go to Fred Meyers. Today. Gonna clean our thing. <laughs> They got all these coupons. See, you go. They save on any package cooking vegetables. Package. So this is the one. You know? Twenty minutes later. The struggles. The fucking struggles. <laughs> you got it? Twist like right here. Pause it. I got a lot. Jesus, temptation. of all our goodies we got just tons of stuff still debating on getting the stir fry though and then carrots vegetables I'm looking good these look also tasty they're like the frozen burgers and I want some burgers but I'm not sure what kind of pig I either I'm gonna get a chicken burger or turkey burger turkey burgers are really good or beef burgers so actually I might go check the fresh produce instead <laughs> need some milk You can get regular ones. Get this one. And then we want English muffin. So English muffin. Sooner reason reduced. Why? Are they gonna go bad? What is it? Sixty-nine cents. Or what is it? Whole grain? Multi grain. Are they gonna go bad? I think so. Let's see. February 6th, yeah. We're on the second, so. Yeah. We're just get a little 
let's see peas panko we haven't got mayonnaise actually so we need that zip logs and napkins we still got a little bit to go all right and you can just see i just have tons of food i have to check out and it's gonna be pretty spendy but this is groceries right hi guys welcome back to my apartment i just came back from Kroger fred meyers and i actually want to show you the things that i got for fred meyers for the months or a few weeks actually if it even last but i want to first start out how much we actually spend i think in total we spend about let's see you see the whole freaking list now <laughs> we spend about um let's see about $90, right? So difficult to tell, like, because we had some discounts here. Oh, this is not, like, this is not, this is a different receipt. Um, okay, so I end up finding it in my purse, like, deep down. I was I always forget where I put my receipt. So, in total, we spend about $88, almost about $90. So, $88 and a few cents. And yeah, we spend quite a bit. So you can see this whole giant list. Um, I don't want to go see you all through it, but it is a long list. And it's great because we needed to actually go grocery shopping for a bit. Um, we've been surviving off most of our frozen stuff, which still has vegetables and all that combo. But we eat very simple. But anyways, we needed some essentials, some fresh vegetables. And then, yeah, so we can start it off. So let me show you Ooh, what we first got. And so we actually got an assorted array of LaCroix. So if you guys don't know what LaCroix are, they're pretty much sparkling water, flavor sparkling water. We really like these. And like, we prefer to drink these rather than pop or soda. If you just want pop or soda, this is a really good um, alternative in general. We bought about, we bought three of these. So they had a sale for three for 10. Um, I thought that was a pretty good deal for the map they give you. So we, in total, each come with eight packs. So we're gonna, we're gonna drink it all. So it's like several of this. So, and I always have visitors. Well, when I do to get a chance to have once in a while because I don't have a lot of visitors, but I give them a croy. <laughs> Anyways, but let's start off with bag number one. And the bag number one is this little, little doggy that I got for last year's Christmas. And the first thing I actually got is some celery. You can see this baby beautiful celery is so gorgeous. I love celery. I eat it with some stew. I eat it with a salad. I eat it with like tons of everything. I pretty much chop up a lot of my things and freeze them so then I can keep them for a long time. We got ourselves some napkins because yeah, we need napkins around this house. We also consider doing like reusable napkins, but honestly, we just don't do grocery. We don't wash our shit fast enough. And honestly, like it, our shit doesn't dry quick enough here. It's like cold as fuck. There's no circulation really anywhere we live. <laughs> so another thing we actually got to is some eggs and these are just 18 count of eggs. They're a dollar. 19 I think so there were really good sales for like all of this a dollar or something I have never seen such a thing but yeah our second bag is the biggest bag of all and and um this is actually a funny thing it's an American Eagle Disney collab so it's a limited edition bag pretty um badass. pretty cool I really like it so nothing too crazy but we actually have already started eating my grapes so we got a pack of grapes and these were a dollar 29 a pound so they were on sale another thing we also got is tons of vegetables so these are zucchinis i got three or four of these and i'll be slicing these up as well for really good dinner um we also got ourselves some sandwich bags double sandwich bags and again we use so much of these because i freeze a lot of things we take things to go that we just these are this is the most convenient thing for us um this is pretty much going to last us several months um and then a storage bag for our meats and produce because we freeze most of our meats and produce we do not have a lot of fresh ones only right when we purchase them because in general it's just two of us and in general too we don't go grocery shopping often we like to meal prep most of our meals. Um, I might make a video about showing you how I meal prep and how I store all my food throughout the time. Um, and then the best way to save on your groceries. But for now, it's just my grocery haul. Um, and I'll talk more about that. 
Anyways, I got some lettuce because I like this the iceberg lettuce. The shredded lettuce I don't like because it just literally um, like goes goes bad quickly. We just don't eat it quick enough. Again, it's just two of us, so we don't eat it quick enough. And then, then I also got some carrots. It's so much more cheaper actually just to pick your carrots out, like actually individual. There's some carrot ones that come like in the bag and like all plastic and wrap. Um, there's even some that are singly, single wrap, like in plastic, which I think is so wasteful. Um, but you should definitely pick out your own carrots. I think it's just so much more better. You get to pick out the quality and then on top how many you want. We got like a bunch of those. And then one of our only meat things that we got so far today, because we already picked up actually meat yesterday from a, a, a pretty much a fresh farm grocery store. But we got ourselves some home style beef patties and these are really good. They're not in season, so I do need to season these up. Bad boys, you know, but I love seasoning my shit, so I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have some hamburgers. We haven't had hamburgers in a very long time, like honestly. We haven't had hamburgers in a very long time. Or red meat in general. Or red meat, yeah. So I'm excited to have hamburgers. We're gonna cut up some potatoes. I make my potatoes at home um, and I just air fry them. And that, I can make a recipe about that too. Another thing we actually got is some flour tortillas from Mission. And I like this brand a lot. I just generally like the soft taco style because it's just always really easy to make something with it. Um, and yeah, they're tasty. Um, making fresh tortillas are actually really, really hard to where I live. I don't have a lot of space to even roll up a lot of stuff. And in general, it takes uh, tons of labor to make it. Well, not tons of labor, it's just time. And I do not have time. So, that's a while I do, but not so much. We also snagged up some green tea. I think we snagged about three green, th three different kind of teas because we're avid tea drinkers. After we're done like our dinner, we have green tea just to kind of relax our stomach um, and, and just overall like relaxing at night. In my opinion, I love I love this green tea in particular because it tastes like pomegranate, so super fruity. If you want something sweeter, add some a little bit of honey and some lemon, and it's just so good, like so comforting, and honestly so good for you too. So I highly suggest you get this kind. It is um, caffeine, and apparently this one is has a free, stress-free rose and mint herbal tea bag. So. I'm excited. I might find a new fave. So, let's see. Another thing we actually got. This is not mine. This is my fiance's, and it's actually fish sticks, crunchy breaded fish sticks. This is the only frozen thing I think we actually got, and this was not my choice. But right this now. is his his choice. So you probably air fry it. That's his snack. That's his choice. Um, but yeah, also got another pancake and waffle mix because your girl loves freaking pan. I love pancakes. Pancakes are actually pretty easy to make. Super simple. You need some flour, you need a little bit of baking soda, and then add your like your 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 sugar and all that. You can make this super easy, but your girl again does not have time to make that. And I just love it because they come out fluffier. This is just a Kroger one, really basic. I get the I get the off-brand ones because I just don't care what kind of pancake it is. It's pancakes to me. These are really good. They're only $1.79, so, like, come on, think about it. $1.79 for Kroger pancakes. Like, I can't really get upset about it. Really can't. Okay, bag number three, three is our Walmart <laughs> black bag, and I, my mom actually gave me this one. So I love, I like recycled bags a lot. I got ourselves some bananas. Again, it's just me and my fiance. We, but let me tell you, we eat like crazy here. I eat like crazy. I'm still fairly, like fairly thin and stuff, but like we eat a lot. I got I got hungry. And on top of that, I, we don't go out to eat. We only go out to eat once a week and maybe twice a month. So twice a month sometimes we go out to eat. Um, that is very little when we go out eat. So that's why we have a lot of food at home. Because we cook. On top of that, we got some hamburger buns. And again, this is going to be the complimentary with our hamburger meat. Very, very yummy. Um, I don't know why I'm slapping it. Uh, be gentle, man. It's soft. 
Anyways, um, I got also, here's another green tea, uh, Peach Paradise. I love this. Um, well, actually, you know, I don't know if I love it because I haven't tried this one. So, but I like Lipton. Like, Lipton is a really good quality tea in my opinion. So, I... Am I a tea snob? No, but I like tea. But <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to try this. I like peach. Peaches are so tasty. Sadly, peaches aren't on, on season here. It's really cold where we live, so it's like hardly in season. I also got ourselves a fruit tea sampler. This is really good for anyone who just wants to try out any kind of fruity tea. I like these because they're caffeine free, so you can have them at night and not like stay up all day if you're caffeine sensitive. Or it's just if you want something sweet, I get this. And it has like wild berry, true berry, black cherry. It's so good. It was only, uh, I guess the teas are kind of spendy. They're kind of like $3 each. So we got three of those. So we spent maybe like about $10 for three of those. Um, but I'm not a mad, so it's tea. Um, we got ourselves a small little milk. And I like milk because it's milk. Um, I'm also not very good at indigo. Anyways, um, I'm not very good at drinking milk because my stomach hurts often. I think I'm lactose, but I, I, tr I truly, truly try to deny that I'm not lactose. But I do try to limit myself on dairy. But I like cereal, so I don't know. Here we are, we got ourselves some light mayo. These were made with cage-free eggs. Do I care if they're made at a cage-free egg? No, I do not care. It's literally from Kroger. It was like a, a dollar or two and it's light. So it's it's slightly half the calories than regular, regular mayo. And that makes me happy because like, I get to use the other calories to eat other more stuff. <laughs> so yeah. And then our last thing from this bag is some um, tortillas. And these tortillas are one of my favorite. They're from Widows and they're 80 count corn tortillas. And these are really good. We do actually eat the whole bag of tortillas for the last of the month. Like this would be gone in a month. We eat like 80 stacks of tortillas a month. That's crazy. Um, last bag. Did you turn it on? No. No, I don't know. But our last bag is gonna be, again, another Walmart bag. Let's see, I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way. I'm running out of space. Another Walmart bag here. And we got ourselves some English muffins. Again, these were only a dollar something. They're so cheap. They're so, there's some I, I even showed on my video that were on clearance, but they expire in like five days. So I can't eat this in five days. Um, I'll probably eat this in like a, a week or two. So this expires on the 13th. So I have two weeks to eat this perfect amount of time. I will eat that in two weeks. Um, and then this is a lot. People are going to be like, oh my gosh, these, what are these? And these are the biggest Roma's tomatoes I've ever seen in my freaking life. GMO straight up. But we eat tomatoes like all the time, like straight up. We're gonna eat with our hamburgers. We're gonna eat it with our soup. We're gonna eat it with our English muffins, rice. We eat it with our like salsa, our guac. Like it, you have no idea how much tomatoes we eat. And like in general, I feel like if you have a, okay. <laughs> if you have a like, it's just, I don't know what the fuck. He's playing doing. with those food balls. So yeah, if you saw my last video, actually my cat got, look at him, what a loser. He, we got him um, his monthly haul and he's been playing with his toys ever since. So if you haven't watched the video of my cat's haul, um, I'll probably link it up somewhere here to watch my cat's haul because we go monthly to buy him shit. So we got him new toys and he just cannot stop playing. So it's super cute, but sometimes low key annoying because I'm recording and he's taking up my time. That's him in the back. So yeah, we eat a lot of tomatoes. Another thing that we're pulling out is here is some limes or lemons. I'm sorry, like in Spanish, you actually call limes, like lemons, limes. Limon. Limon. And then, and then the green ones are limon too. So they're both limes. Yeah, they're literally called the same name. Correct me if correct me if I'm wrong. If you're a fluent Spanish 
speaker um, but we call it limons limons like they're all the same name the same thing limons we got the lime here and um we got also green limes which is lime and lemons they go um two of these two of these and i add these in meals we put them in teas we make uh salsa in them we put like we just have so much we use these were two for dollars which is okay at the limes and these were a lot more cheaper, I think. I don't know, they like something. 79 cents. 79 cents. So they're not a lot more cheaper, but they're good. We're gonna put it in our guac. We're gonna put it into our other meals. But, and then I got also some pre sliced bagels from Kroger. Straight up bagels. I love also to eat um, cream cheese and bagels. Like, basic bitch. I just love cream cheese, but I just like, this is pretty much for me. This is what I eat. Um, another thing we actually got is more vegetables, so thank God. We got ourselves some, it, I know these are bagged a lot, and some people are going to ask me, why do you have everything all bagged? It's so wasteful. The truth is, we actually end up using these, reuse these bags for our Indigo's poo, for our produce, or for miscellaneous things that we need to put in. So we do end up reusing these bags. We just don't throw, we don't just throw them away. We actually use it for trash bags and multiple purposes. So um, yeah, so we get a lot of bags. <laughs> Here we go, we got some big, big sweet potatoes. This is like so big. The one of the ladies who was working there, she was just like, aren't they so big? And like, if you want little ones, there's some more on the top. And I was just like, nah, girl, I want the big ones. Um, but yeah, I love sweet potatoes and I love adding them to my dishes, especially um, chorizo. And you know, I talk a lot about them chorizo. I love adding sweet potato to my chorizo. It tastes so sweet. Anyways, I love sweet potato. Here's another thing I actually got, and this is actually, um, what the hell is this? Oh, it's broccoli. The most exciting thing. We got broccoli. So, yeah, we got broccoli, and I believe that's pretty much it. Dang, dude. So, look at all of our food here. As you can tell, our food, it looks like a lot. But it is, we spent about 80 to $90. Most of it's actually vegetable, to be honest and like necessary, necessary things. The only junk food we actually got was my fiance's what the fuck? Um, no, fish sticks. What's the other junk food we got? That ain't no junk food. Oh. Yeah, this is the closest, this is probably the most expensive thing we got. Mm. Yeah, this or it, this or the um, beef patties. Nah, that's so food. It's five ninety nine. dollars so it's oh. probably the most expensive thing we got. Or the Ziploc bags were kind of expensive. They're like four ninety nine, almost six dollars. But yeah, or the Lacroix because these were three for ten. Oh yeah, pretty much. These were the most expensive, three for ten. But those are probably the most junk food we get. So, anyways, um, yeah, I'm so happy you watch my haul, and I hope I was super interesting or not so super interested. Let me know what you think of my haul. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I make videos weekly all about shopping and then going out and doing lifestyle videos. I hope that you have a wonderful day and let me know if you like an organization video how, or how I meal prep. Um, I'll be meal prepping most of my things throughout the months or the week pretty much and get my life a little bit in order, not too much, but somewhat. <laughs> um, but anyways, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time and see you guys next time. Bye.